achievements. Can I raise a couple of difficulties that you've had? It's the sort of personal side, which the poor Liberal Democratic Party seems a bit prone to. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy Thorpe, if I can put it tactfully. Jeremy Thorpe, tragic business, all that, in the mid-70s. It, it was a very, very sad story, Jeremy's fall from grace. And I put it down to the fact that he was very bad at choosing his friends and the people he relied on. I mean... The late Peter Bessel, who was the, the guy he relied on to try and deal with this unfortunate problem of this bloke, and he turned to the wrong person. The other factor, the personal business, that's come to haunt you is in the huge figure of Cyril Smith, yeah. which the allegations sure. are being investigated. And you were Liberal leader when these surfaced in a radical newspaper in Rochdale and Private Eye picked it up and so on. But that's still going, isn't it? And you, well, you're it still, to some extent, in some people's eyes, in the frame because of not gripping it as Liberal Party leader. Just let me remind you what happened. This was reported, as you say, in a, a radical paper in Rochdale, circulation supposedly 10,000 in the town, repeated in Private Eye in 1979. They related to incidents in the 1960s, which had been investigated by the police. The local Labour Party, because he was then the Labour Party, elected him as mayor... They got him an MBE for services to local government. He'd been elected as the MP three times, and then suddenly this appears. Apart from asking him, was this true, and he said, yes, it was, that he had been investigated by the police, there was nothing more really for me to do. Now, that was my opinion, it remains my opinion, and people that can justifiably say, oh, no, you should have been doing more, quite what, I don't know. What they're not entitled to say, and this is what I've objected to some of the coverage, is that somehow there was a deliberate cover-up. That I do not believe. In fact, when I did a radio interview recently on The World at One, and I said, look, I was leading a political party, not a detective agency, a former Tory cabinet minister who'd heard that interview said to me, do you know, a friend of mine was a QC in the early 70s, told me he'd been given those papers by the DPP, and he had sent them back with the opinion that it was not a case he could successfully prosecute. So I don't believe there was a cover-up. I think that there was just a decision that there was not enough concrete evidence to be able to prosecute at the time. And therefore, how was I, as leader of the party, 200 miles away from Rochdale, 20 years later, what was I supposed to do about it? Did you ever feel, if I can put it carefully, that he was a bit odd, Cyril Smith, a bit of an odd chap? Oh, he, he went ease with him. He was not a soulmate of mine. I mean, may I just remind you, because again, people forget this. When I was elected leader, he said he wouldn't speak in any constituency that had voted for me. Where I was trying to form the alliance for the SDP, he said they should be strangled at birth. I mean, the idea that he was a mate of mine was ludicrous. What do you think has been your greatest political achievement? 